Whole Foods, which has hundreds of stores nationwide, including one in Portland's Bayside area, says it will suspend the sale of Maine lobster. It's the latest blow to the lobster industry, which just last week had an eco-friendly certification suspended by the Marine Stewardship Council. As New Center Maine's Jack Molmud reports, in the midst of ongoing legal battles, the industry says this is the last thing they need. Oh, come on. Outside the only Whole Foods location in the state, confusion over why Maine lobster will not be sold at any of the company's stores nationwide, at least for now. Saw Rosenblatt of Portland. Now, me, myself, personally, I don't eat lobster, so I wouldn't hurt the poor little things anyway. What are they going to do, put an Amazon lobster? I don't know. Hayden Dudley says he questions the motives behind the decision. But if Whole Foods is doing it for publicity to try and greenwash some of the things that they do, then I think shame on them. So why pull Maine Lobster? Whole Foods declined our request to shoot video inside of the store, but said in a statement that its decision falls in line with recent headlines. Quote, we only sell wild caught seafood from fisheries that are certified by the Marine Stewardship Council or rated either green or yellow by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch program. And Maine Lobster recently lost both of those endorsements. This fall, red listed by the Monterey Bay Aquarium and just this last week, having its eco-friendly certification of the Marine Stewardship Council suspended. Really disappointing, especially for the fishermen who have been working, you know, for the past 25 years to make their gear safer for North Atlantic right whales. Marianne LaCroix is the executive director for the Lobster Marketing Collaborative. So really from the fishermen's side, you know, they're following the laws that have been put forth. There's really nothing else they can do except what they have been doing, which is, you know, continue to work on the new regulations. So what can the industry do as a whole to get off Monterey's red listing and get the certification reinstated by the Marine Stewardship Council? The Monterey Bay Aquarium declined our interview requests and MSC just didn't reply to us. The Monterey Bay Aquarium's website cited the summer ruling by a D.C. judge that the current regulations for the lobster do not do enough to protect the endangered right whale. As for the MSC suspension, its website cites the same court decision. The website also goes on to say lobster can be recertified once the industry's regulators are in compliance. It's hard to, it's hard to think about how to reduce something that's not happening. Jeff White is a lobsterman out of York and says lobstermen have gotten the short end of the stick through this whole process. No right whale entanglement has been traced to Maine lobster gear since 2004. It's very difficult to be the only ones, if you'd say, on trial for the well-being of this whale, and it isn't going to save the right whales because we don't have an impact on them. The future is uncertain for lobster fishers as they now wait two years when new regulations will come down intended to protect the right whale. And that could help them get their certifications back. In York, Jack Molmud, New Center, Maine.